A man charged with murder listens while his Google searches from the day his wife disappeared. On January 4th, 1st, offendant Googled using a son's iPad. Google be snitching. Some of the searches are as follows. Keep in mind that the defendant said he left at 6 a.m. At 4.55 a.m. on January 1st, he searched how long before a body starts to smell. At 4.58 a.m., how to stop a body from decomposing. At 5.20 a.m., he searched how to embalm a body. At Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, apparently. 5.47 a.m., 10 ways to dispose, dispose of a dead body if you really need to. At 6.25 a.m. on the 1st, how long for someone to be missing to inherit. The time gap between the searches was huge. World's slowest researcher or what? At 6.34 a.m. on the 1st, can you throw away body parts? At 9.29 a.m., what does formaldehyde do? At 9.34 a.m. on the 1st, how long does DNA last? Google search, how to incriminate yourself so you definitely go to jail. At 9.59 a.m., can identification be made on partial remains? At 11.34 a.m., disremmerment and the best ways to dispose of a body. If I were a VPN company I'd be thinking of a way to turn this into an advert. At 11.44, how to clean blood from wooden floor. At 11.56 on the first, luminol to detect blood. At 1.08, what happens when you put body parts in ammonia? At 1.21 p.m., is it better to throw crime scene clothes away or wash them? Those were on the January 1st. There was also information gained from the defendant's phone, which showed on January 2nd, he was at Home uh, Goods in Norwell, where he purchased three rugs. Imagine if all of our search histories were read aloud, though.